Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Matt and it is Fiendish Friday finally. I am happy to see each and every one of your faces. I hope you're happy to see my ugly mug. Uh, and first and foremost, I hope each and every one of you are having a fantastic morning, evening, dawn, day, or dusk. Whenever it is you're watching this, I hope you're having a great time. Uh, first and foremost, that's what's always important in life, yes. Um, now, on to today's film, which is a freaking amazing film it is by far the best one i've seen all week long uh i can't uh, stress how much i enjoyed this one uh it is a ride it's a very fun ride it gets uh very brutal in in a couple of places and it definitely shows shows what uh uh this 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 uh, these actors and Fernando de Leo were able to pull together with this one. So we're going to go grab our handy dandy volume 1 of the Fernando de Leo crime set and we're going to pull out from 1972 starring Mario Adorf again which he was in Caliber 9 for, from yesterday and I guess he he wasn't normally an act a real actor he uh something about I I read that he was found right off of the streets by by another director I don't know if that's true or not uh maybe it was Fernando De Leo that found him I'm not 100% either way he's got a great look and he and the two films that I've seen him and I, I absolutely loved him now the last film he played um, a char character named Rocco and Rocco was was a tough mobster type guy uh, he once again is playing a mobster uh, he is not to be confused with uh, it is called the Milan trilogy but they really between number one and number two, they're like two separate films altogether. They don't um, have any characters that intertwine or anything like that. They just happen to be uh, about the, uh, some whatever. It's a um, crime in Milan. That's what it's basically about is the mobster crime in Milan. Um now, as far as this one goes, like, uh, like I said, it stars Mario Dorf. It's also got Henry Silva in here, who is is really good. Uh, I'm trying to think of some Henry Silva movies off the top of my head. He was in Scarface, I believe. He was the one that uh, uh, took out uh, Scarface at the very end. Probably, no, that's not him. Uh, I am so wrong on that one. I forgive, I, I apologize there. But he was in a movie called Trapped. Which is uh, was it called Trapped or Trapped Alive? It was a exploitation type film, one that I I only saw it once, and it was very uh, very uh, dull. I thought not not the best thing. Uh, and then you got Woody Strode, who is awesome. He you know I mostly know him from other from westerns, and uh, I'm trying to think. He did a prison movie with oh shoot, I forget who it was. And he was really good in there. I I th think it was was it Escape from? Uh, no, it wasn't uh, Escape from Alcatraz. That was a different actor. But uh, anyways, Woody Strode, good actor. Um, we got Adolfo Celli in here, Francisco Romano Caluzzi, and uh, Luciana Luciana Paluzzi, directed by none other than Fernando De Leo, like I said. And that is the Italian Connection, which I absolutely love. This artwork for this film, it just it. It's just so much fun. It's it, out of all of the ones, it it's probably got the dullest name, like the Italian Connection. That's kind of dull, uh, but it is the funnest out of all of them that I've I've watched. This is a is a a, a hoot. It is just awesome. Um, uh, 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 shoot, I forget what. Um, uh, Mario Ador Adorf's character name it was like Carlino or something like that. He uh, he basically what he is is he's a pimp who who a married pimp who's estranged from his family and is living with uh, his top girl. Um, he's a small time hustler gang part of a gang part of the mob i guess it says he said he's a mobster um being that he's connected with some of the people in this film that he is is it's very easy to um say that he is because he definitely is um now um 
it starts off right away with him and his gals. Uh, you're there. Look, you find out that the mob is looking for him. Uh, they're roughing up everybody in the way. The they sent in two hitmen uh, from America, played by Henry Silva and Woody Strode. They play the two uh, American hitmen from New York, and they they are very very good in this. Um, Woody Strode is, is the uh, basically the muscle. Uh, Henry Silva is is uh, the brains behind the uh, the operation. It's uh, he, it's very clear to see who's who in this, but. Don't get that wrong. Don't don't get it wrong. Woody Strode does not play an idiot in this movie just because he's the muscle. He's very intelligent himself. Um, it's just that that Henry Silva is more of the uh, the mouthpiece of the two. He's he's the one that does a lot of the bargaining. <coughs> oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. So they're sent to uh, Milan to to capture uh, uh, Mario Dorf's character. Mario's character. Um, in the process, uh, Mario's wife and child are run down in a horrible, horrible car accident. It was very brutal how they did that. It was, uh, uh, it kind of drew, uh, shades of Mad Max, the very first one, when he, when they, the bikers run over his wife and child. It kind of reminded me of that in ways, but a lot more graphic because it was, um, being presented in, uh, uh, instead of a motorcycle, you replace it with a van, and you do it in the instead of in the middle of nowhere. Basically, you're doing it in the middle of er, right in the front of everybody in the middle of a crowded intersection. Uh, you know, it takes takes some some uh, real uh, uh, balls and and a cold, 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 cold heart. If you're not, if you even have a heart to do something like that to you know i'm i'm a firm believer of the 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 code of leon from the professional no women no children that's 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 what i believe in and i i you know it should definitely be that way leave the uh, women and the children out of it unless the woman is uh uh part the the one that is uh like say she is causing all the havoc and she is is uh being the the lead of the mobsters or whatever gangsters or or whatever it is she is then sure that's okay that's okay if she if she's an evil person it's okay <laughs> because not every every person is a good person unfortunately um now, as far as anything else with the story, I really don't want to give up too much more uh, other than than Mario's character goes on a on a rampage after um uh all these guys and it, and right right at the towards the beginning you're treated with uh, a fight scene with with him that it shows very 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 much on that he can handle himself he fights against two men at the same time and one of them ha is carrying a blade and he at one point headbutts this one dude and it oh it was just so epic the way he hit him uh it, it was something i'll never forget and, and this guy everything he did when he really wanted to show force he did the headbutt because at one point he's trapped on the front of this van after he's been chasing this guy because there's this really sweet chase uh that it, it's a car chase that turns into a foot chase that turns back into a car chase it's very very cool uh that's one thing that fernando de leo is very very good at is creating chase sequences and and bringing out the the uh the best parts of it uh he does not shy away from from making it as uh thrilling as possible like he is he doesn't care or not care he doesn't um show that he's uh at all worried about uh doing a, a lengthy uh car chase without any anything caught without people saying that's all the movie is because there's a lot more to it than a, than 
than a chase sequence. There's a lot more to it than a guy who headbutts a window. Uh, there's, there's, there. It's like an onion, as they say in Shrek. There's layer, layers on this one. It's very, very good. Uh, that's where I'm going to leave it on that end of the story. Uh, I'm going to roll into my, my ratings of this one. Uh, on the one through five scale, the, this one is very, very crisp, very clean. Um, one of, probably the most polished out of all of them that I've seen so far. It's one of, it's not quite as, uh, yesterday I watched, I watched this one. But I also seen the boss, and I've seen all the all of his cl uh, films that I own. But um, this one's probably the best out of all of them. I will, I'll probably, I think I'm gonna go with that. It's got the best cast. Um, it's got amazing twists and turns. Uh, uh, the uh, like I said, there's an awesome chase sequence that goes from car to foot to car. Uh, very, very, very sweet uh, uh, transitions through that. Um, uh, some great camera angles. That's one thing uh, Fernando De Leo does have an eye for film, and it is a very good one. Or was I? Don't, I'm not sure. I should have looked up to see if Mr. De Leo is still alive. <coughs> Ah, but anyways, so on the one through five scale, I'm gonna give this one a four. Uh, it's very, 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 very good. Um, on on the uh, uh, technical side. Now let's roll over onto the entertainment. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Woo! I have another cigarette, Matt. Uh, let's roll over on to the uh, entertainment side of things. This one is extremely entertaining. Uh, doesn't it? I never found <coughs> any parts of it that was boring or dull. It uh, uh, kept me kept me entranced to the screen the, the entire time that I'm watching this. It does not um, uh, let up either. Once once uh, once you get into that that scene right away where he fights the two men. Um, that's within the first, I believe, 10 minutes of the film. Uh, right when you get to that, that's when it starts to really pick up. And it, it, its pace is very, very, very smooth. And it does a great job on that. Uh, so I'm going to give this one a 5 on that side. So this thing's going to get a solid 9 all, all in all. Uh, Kidnap Syndicate was, was the best movie of the week until I watched... The Italian Connection. This is very, very good. I can't stress enough how, how much I, I really liked this one. Alright guys, that's pretty good. A 9 out of 10. I, I would say that's probably that's one of the best ratings I've given. Uh, besides uh, Naked Violence, that one had a 9. Uh, I'm trying to think if I had any other 9s in there. Um, I know I've had, a, I've had some 8s. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to get the hell out of here. I love all your faces as always. I can't wait to see you Monday because you know it's the weekend, TGIF. I hope each and every one of you have a great weekend. Um, if you're doing anything fun, I'd like to know. If you're going to watch, go see anything sweet or you got anything lined up for movies this weekend, it's always fun to talk about that stuff. You know me, guys. All right. Love your faces. And 